What up guys, it's UG203 here, and I just want to give you another rap review while we're at it. Uh, I purchased a couple things, and uh, I know it's hard to see, but I'm trying my best. We're going to try Doom for the iPod Touch deck. You all remember Doom? Oh, let's turn that down a little bit. You know, Doom was fun. Great classic first-person shooter. Uh, personally, for me, Doom 2 sticks out a lot more in my mind than Doom 1 does. But, you know, this game gives you a lot... Mm, I don't remember exactly the price I paid for it, but for the content you get, I mean, why not? So let's see what we got here. You have resume game, new game, you have demos. I haven't checked out the demos, but now that I'm thinking about it, let's go see what it is. Oh, uh, demos just shows you other gameplay. You know, whatever. You have nearby multiplayer. I got excited when I thought about it was online. It really wasn't. The website for the developers and the options. You have your uh, three control schemes here. Your move stick size, your turning stick size, and your tilt move speed if you want to strafe. I found the default controls work real great. If you go to settings, you have auto use, status bar, touch click. Whoops. Your messages for when you pick up stuff, draw controls are on. I don't know what those were. Whatever. I beat this game already. Um, it's a downfall of this application. For the price you pay, there's not a lot of content and not a lot of levels, but. I don't know. We'll start a new game. We'll do one level for you. And I'm, I know this is hard to see. I'm sorry. I have a flip HD camera and it's not real HD. Oh, wow. Oh, apparently I only beat the first chapter. Okay, so I'm retarded and the iPod Touch version is really not the same. So I guess we're going to try nuclear play and I'm just going to show you a little bit of gameplay. So you get here. You move your D-pad to actually move and here's your fire button. If you touch... Your character's head, it gives you all the weapons you have. Right now I don't have any because I'm starting a new game. So we're going to select the pistol and we're just going to play a little bit. Here are your enemies, those are basic. Enemies. If anyone knows the storyline of Doom, you're a space marine on Mars and you're trying to defend yourself. And trying to find your way back home, I assume. So uh, you got to find three different keys. Most levels, you don't have to find them all. But if you go to a door and the barriers are red like this, you have to find the red key to open that. Um, you touch the doors to open them, pick up ammo and clips. I'm not going to spend my whole life on it, I just want to give you a little bit of gameplay. You know, for me, for Doom was probably one of the first games I ever played. I never knew I had online back in the day, but that would have been great to play. You have your armor status here, I never showed you that either. Your armor, you can get up to 100. Your health goes up to... Uh, not really sure. And I already picked up the red key, so we're just going to go open that door. And once we beat this level, I'll give you just what I think about the game. Sometimes this thing can be a little hard to control. As you can see, I'm having a little bit of a problem with it. It's not too bad once you really get into it, but it could be better. Come on. And you can move the D-pad all the way across the screen, which I didn't like. I liked perfectly like Wolfenstein's, where it stayed in one spot. But that's just me. <coughs> Excuse me. You can shoot the barrels to explode them, but the pistol doesn't do much damage against anything. It's your basic weapon, unfortunately. And if you run out of ammo, you get your fist. You get a spiked knuckle, and that's about it. Anyone that, you know, played Doom back in the day would enjoy this application. Uh, there is another Doom application, Doom Resurrection, which is more of an arcade rail shooter, and it's more remade. Um, personally... Unless you're a real Doom fan, you know you know the history, you know the story, I say skip on this one just because there's not a lot for your money, personally. I think they could have put a lot more in this application. I think they should put, more, put all the Doom games. I think this was $5.99. I'm not sure on that. I'll definitely make an annotation. So, you know, look for that. That's the first level. So I'm going to shut this off, pick a random level, and we're going to see how we do there. Alright, so, while during the break, I looked up Doom on the App Store, and I don't know if you guys can see that, but I can't, it's six ninety nine for this application. So, not exactly, I wouldn't pay that much for this application, you know, if I did it for you guys, because I care, but, I'm gonna have to say skip this one. I mean, I love Doom, personally, and I mean, unless you really like Doom, get it, but I feel like for the price, I'm just not getting enough. You know, a lot of people are going to have different opinions on that. Uh, again, I'm a Doom fan, 
but I feel like the first Doom, even with all these, even with all six chapters, I feel like it really just didn't have enough. Doom 2 had so much more to offer. But, uh, you know, if you like it, check it out. You know, personally, I say, because somebody bought me a gift card for iTunes to go get this application. So, you know, if somebody, go, this is my final verdict. If somebody bought you the gift card to get this application, go get it. On your own money, I say don't buy it. So, I'm going to give it a 7, a 7 out of 10, probably. Yeah, I mean, Doom 2 was so much better. Doom 2, 9 out of 10, but I just, I just feel like the prequel had nothing against it. But I just wanted to give you a short little review, you know. Um, these are parts I hate when you get stuck. So again, if somebody buys you a gift card for iTunes, you know, go get it. If you really like Doom, go get it. But if you're a casual player, you don't know what Doom is really, hope to God they make a Doom 2. Maybe they'll update it and get Doom 2. If they do, I'll be sure to, you know, tell you guys. But I say skip it for now. Unless you really like Doom. Oh, everything got all dark on me. Yeah. So, thanks for watching, guys. I just wanted to give you a quick little review. You know, hopefully we'll have something new on the way. Take care.